What's going on guys, Evolution here and welcome to my channel and today I will be reviewing the menu of Daisy Standalone Early Access Alpha. I'll be going over the character customization and some of the graphic and audio options that you'll be able to configure. So first up, let's head on to the character customization. As you can see, pretty plain and simple, you choose your gender, so let's change it to female. You can then change your skin colour, so we'll go for a nice light, and you see it's kind of pink. You can also move your model around by obviously dragging it with the mouse. You can then change your top, so we'll keep with the nice beige looking camo shirt. Uh, your trousers or pants, they've just got a variation of different coloured jeans. Uh, we'll go for some black jeans, and then you've got your shoes, and there's a few different coloured trainers that you can select so again we'll go for some nice black ones there you go next up obviously let's go on to the configuration so on the main menu you can change your game options and your volume so pretty simple you've got your effects music VoIP and master volume as you can see you get a preview if you try to change it then also you've got your perspective in game so first or third I think this sets it to default as in when you join if you start in first or third I'm gonna leave mine to first because that's how I roll uh, invert mouse, obviously we're going to change that. Field of view, I'm not sure, I have a rough idea what this does, but I don't want to mess with it till I'm in game, so it's not, that's an option to look within the game. Um, video options, so there's loads. Obviously you've got your resolution, so I've set it to 920 by 1080 for the best overall quality. Uh, you've got your brightness, gamma and a V-Sync. Anyway, moving onwards, you've got your quality. There's loads of things, object terrain, clouds, and shadows. I've set them all to very high. As you notice, there are very high settings, which is always good. You've got your rendering, which is like your anti-aliasing, uh, your HDR quality, and pro uh, post-process quality. You've also got your bloom. Again, some of these effects you'd want to change in a game to see what they actually do. Then you've got your textures, which is just a video, video memory. How... Oh, just changing that one. It's just loading. You got your video memory, your texture detail, and filtering, uh, and then obviously you got your user interface, which is just kind of the layout of your screen and how large you want your UI. So mine's set to small, so it doesn't get in the way, because I like a nice, clean, and empty screen. So that's it for the video uh, controls. There's plenty of controls to configure, and also you've got your mouse features as well as your sensitivity. And on top of that, we've got gameplay. So you've got your head bob, which I'm actually going to turn down quite a bit. Your language, as well as audio options, are pretty basic. You've got input, volume, and your sound sources for your microphone. Not too sure what you do, but you've also got your in-game volume over here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more Daisy tutorial tutorials, tutorials, and content. Hopefully, I'll be starting a Let's Play soon, so be sure to check that out later on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.